15 years, the American Heart Association and the NFL have worked together to get kids physically active for 60 minutes a day through a program called Play 60. This fall, three New Jersey schools were able to participate in Play 60, and each received $1,500 to be put towards physical education equipment. Joining me now to talk about the program is Matthew Fernandez, who's the Region VP of School Engagement for the American Heart Association. Matthew, thanks so much for coming on this morning. Thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited to be on and, and talk about our amazing programs. As are we. So let's just start with how did the American Heart Association and the NFL link up for this initiative? Absolutely. Uh, and a lot of a lot of people out there know about the NFL Play 60 program. And again, like the last 15 years, it's been this tremendous partnership, uh, really focusing on the need for for students and individuals of all age to get out there and get at least 60 minutes of activity a day. And that's why we have the, the Play 60 program. Now, which players took part in the program this year and who are some of the others that you've had in years past? Yeah, uh, we've had a tremendous amount of players in, in the past years. I mean, uh, I think the the fan favorite, the one that all the students liked the most was Saquon Barkley. And, you know, and as a Giants fan, I wish he was still here as well. Uh, but, you know, we're really excited for, for all the amazing fans uh, and, and, and the players to be able to get together and, and really get with our students. And they get so excited uh, that it's someone maybe a little bit different than their teachers or their families telling them to get out and stay active. And it's some amazing professional athletes who've dedicated their life uh, to being physically fit and taking care of their bodies. Now, how excited do the kids get to, ha to be able to hang out with these players? Maybe some of the younger ones can't appreciate it as much, but the students who are old enough to follow the NFL, they must be in their glory. Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, and there are times when the when these athletes and these players come out there and you, you can't even hear them speak. The kids are getting so excited and riled up, you know, and you really don't know how big uh, big these athletes are until you're, you're staring up at them. But uh, kids of all ages get really excited, especially, like you said, the older ones who can really uh, see those names and then see them the following Sunday uh, playing on the field and doing their best. It's amazing. Now, the middle school and high school routines are a little bit different from each other. Can you talk about the program's focus in each group? Yeah, absolutely. And, and our school programs, uh, they're amazing because we have our, the Play 60 works with the Kids Heart Challenge, which is for those elementary, the K-6 to programs. And it, it's a lot of fun. You know, at that age, the kids are still out there having a lot of fun and we can play some great games with them. When they get a little bit older, that middle school and high school age, it, we focus a little bit more uh, on the whole child approach. Again, getting out there and playing for those 60 minutes, but also taking care of your mind just as much as taking care of your body and being mindful of getting enough sleep uh, so you can be a, a top performer. And, and again, being kind to each other and a lot more of the, the mental, some emotional and physical well-being as well that really goes into it. Uh, and these these athletes really, really show it's not just about getting out and playing, but taking care of your 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 mind, body and everything you do. And Matthew, how important is staying healthy as a kid in terms of continuing to stay healthy as an adult? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's 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 like building a house. If you don't put that strong foundation in uh, early on, it, you're going to be playing catch up the rest of your life. So uh, these are the, the key moments in, in your life to take care of yourself, uh, to to get out there and move and set up those great habits that you'll be able to follow for, and, until adulthood, you know, and some of the these best athletes that they, they talk to us, they started at a young age. They they didn't just get into it and were amazing at right at the second they touched the field as a professional. They put in the time, the effort as a young individual to be able to, to work their way up to it. And that's the same thing with, with with how we take care of ourselves and our bodies as adults. You got to keep going on the habits you start um, and, and keep building off of what you do as a young child. It's a great way to put it. Now, these 60-minute sessions mm -hmm. don't just benefit kids physically. The benefits also carry mm -hmm. over into the classrooms as well. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. That it's, it's a great point, you know. And when Play 60 started, it was, again, very focusing a lot on, on getting that movement and, and getting us out there and, and working hard. And then we started seeing, you know, we can take care of ourselves physically and, and doing all that. But if we're not taking care of ourselves by eating junk food, you know, or drinking a lot of uh, sugary beverages, all that great work you put in for those 60 minutes kind of goes out the window. So it's really about getting into the classroom and making sure when you're having lunch and snacks, we're, we're eating the best possible choices we have, eating smarter 
is a big principle that we have with the Kids Heart Challenge. Again, on top of that, we have a lot of STEM resources that uh, from this program of for the science behind taking care of yourselves. We we talk a lot about the the mental well being. Uh, a lot of our students uh, post pandemic uh, exhibiting seven out of ten high school students uh, exhibit um, stress and uh, having issues throughout their day to day life. So we're helping them on mindful moments and how to practice uh, self care and throughout all of that. So in the classroom, there's resources for teachers. We even see that, you know, our students were taking care of them, but teachers are getting burnt out as well. So a lot of our resources with the American Heart Association, with the Play 60 initiative goes into how we take care of our teachers, how do we support their well-being so they can be the best versions of themselves to take care of our students every day too. Well, Matthew, this is a great program all around and thanks so much for coming on this morning to talk all about it. Mike, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the time. And hopefully we'll see you at one of these events and, uh, and kind of playing with some of these athletes and see how we could do. Oh, I can't wait. Head over to ONNJ.com for the latest news and sports anytime.